Man, we haven't had any new subscribers in months. Hey, you can always make a, another version of that nostalgia critic video that you did when I was in Saigon. People seem to like that one. Yeah, I guess, but I mean, it was kind of just, um, you know, a one-off. But I could make a video about the stuff I censored last time and then just say it's a more inappropriate video, then throw in the stuff that he's done since then and the stuff that I've missed. Hmm. Still don't own any of the nostalgia critic's work or the videos he's reviewing, but yeah, that could work. Hello, I'm not the nostalgia critic. I can't remember it, so someone else will have to. And I've already said everything important, so enjoy. Put that cookie, put that, put that cookie, put that, put that cookie, put that, put that, put that, put that, put that, put that cookie, put that, put that cookie, put that, put that cookie, put that, put that, put that cookie down, 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 cook it down. Is that just the new format? Making all criminals honk like a goose? I mean, what's the point? Imagine if I had a mugshot like that. We're on the hunt for a big shot in the Gambino crime family who even John Gotti feared. When our 1,000 captured... What's next? The cast of Scooby-Doo is gonna show up? I'm sewing Scoob! Look out! It's Godzilla! Holy shit! Like you said it, Scoob. Meanwhile, at the home of the Honey Nut Cheerios Bee. Important to us. Now, Ryan Jeffers, may we see the manuscript? Well, wait a minute. Why did you wait until night to ask him that question? It was right there. You started to bring it up. I mean, what the hell happened in between those scenes? And he has brought something important to us. Oh, dance time. Ride to Camelot! When that's the round table, we no, 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 this is meant to be taken seriously. The real deal! There aren't any singing knights in this version. Each of us will now divide in equal shares our countryside. <sighs> Don't you know it? He's played by Gary Oldman, who played another obvious bad guy that everybody trusted as Dr. Smith in Lost in Space, which oddly enough came out the exact same year this movie did. Come on, Gary Oldman, you're a great actor. Why were you choosing these obvious villain roles at the time? I mean, there's just nothing subtle about them. Did somebody question my subtle acting? Oh, come on, Dr. Smith, you're about as subtle as a fucking train wreck. On a boat. <laughs> and now, obvious dumbass line in three, two, one. Nathan, that was no fucking bear. Do saying probably the most epic line in this movie. Fuck you, Lucky Charms. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'm personally glad to have made the first Michael Jackson joke since he died. I miss the man, we all do. But the time has come to laugh again. Laugh at the oddness! Laugh at the strange behavior! Don't let the fear of bad taste hold you back! You see, Michael Jackson was an odd person. A very, very odd person. But the reason we can still laugh at him is because he was also something that we can never take away. A genius. Don't be afraid, people. No matter how hard you laugh, he will always be a genius. I'm the nostalgia period. The time has come to laugh once more. Anyway, and this is the part of the movie I like to call, guess what part of Jurassic Park they're stealing from?
it who said, those who can't think, fight? I think that it was me. <laughs> yeah, well, who was it who said? I love the scene here where he tries to escape the bullies through a fence. He went through a hole, what do we do? He went through a hole, what do we do? He went through a hole, what do we do? He went through a hole, what do we do? He went through a hole, what do we do? He went through a hole, what do we do? Oh yeah, go through the hole. What's the matter? Your tongue is broken? Time like this you should be smoking. You want this film to be good and I'm not joking? Grab yourself a J and get to smoking. No true words have ever been spoken. It'll seem much better once you've been token. See, I can do it too, it's not hard. Does it have to be written in Howie Mandel's contract that every character he plays is allergic to bright light? Are bright lights part of his OCD? Does he have some sort of paranoia against them? Seriously, what would happen if he stepped in bright light? It's like diamonds. You're beautiful. Beautiful? This is the skin of a killer, Bill. <laughs> We're in an Arnold Schwarzenegger puppet show. I got no strings to hold me down, to make me fret, or make me frown. I had strings, but now I'm free. There are no strings on me! He's on the track! Yes! Don't stop! What are you doing? Don't stop! It's okay! It's the devil! Where's Charlie Wilcox? In a meeting, can't be disturbed. Leave a message or take a seat. I said take a seat. And if you dare do the joke I know you're thinking of... Oh, you are scum. What? Oh, yeah, the seahorses rule the earth now. Complete domination. I'm surprised nobody saw it coming, really. This is what I like to call the wily coyote. I do not actually fall until I realize there is nothing supporting me. This style of slapstick comedy was originated in the 1940s. Warner Brothers was beginning to make its mark in- ah! I was just about to tell them about the golden age of cinema animation! I eat you! I eat you all! I bet you didn't know that my butt cheeks had their own license. Riddle me this, Batman! What do you get when two talented actors are given a script written by a horse's scrotum? This movie! <laughs> I mean, it'd be weird, but he could technically use that kiss to give all the supervillains amnesia. He'd fly up to Lex Luthor and he'd be like, Superman, allow me to explain my evil plot. Who the hell am I? All I can say is, I'm worried. We're in a lousy horror movie and I'm the only black person around. Clearly, I need to hire more black people. While she goes looking around for tasty morsels, guess who she picks? Phew! Thank God I hired that other black guy! I guess lousy killer monsters really do prefer dark meat. Later! This looks like a job for... You guessed it! Stuff 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 God bless you, stuff. I love you. Actually, I always wonder what counted as quote-unquote caring. I mean, if I'm ordering a pizza with a friend, is it like, Hey, what kind of toppings you want? I don't care. No, no, wait, I didn't mean to- uh. Hi, we're the Care Bears, and everybody has to care about something- Taste the rainbow, motherfucker! I only smoke when I star in something horrible. You're not me! 
sentence you to watching the rest of this movie. But it's just so boring. And besides, watching this dream sequence is much more interesting than watching that movie. No, critic, no. For if you do not watch the rest of this film, you will have to watch this. No, no! Ugh.